Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is playable with Dolphin within RetroArch. Well, it happened. <laughs> I pressed B. It's downside to playing so many GameCube games is that A and B are switched, so of course it's going to carry over to uh, me trying to boot into a RetroArch game. It doesn't really matter. Pressing B from my Is It Playable playlist just takes me to the sidebar, so... It's not like it really does much. Now, I know this game seems to face issues. Hmm. From what I've read of other people trying to play it, they have said that the game's not great. Although I am not sure if that's actually the case. Maybe it's perfectly fine on the title screen, but then breaks as soon as you get in-game. It's entirely possible. Pretty sure the Thousand Year Door is considered the epitome of the Paper Mario games. Like considered to be the very best. Yeah, I'm not noticing any issues. While this actually all plays out, I'm just gonna look at something. I think it might be tied to the BIOS. Maybe. I mean, I thought the same with Billy Hatcher, but I don't think that was actually a, a game that used the BIOS font, or the system font, whereas this might actually be. That's what I'm looking up. Because it seems full speed. Hmm. Where was it? Hmm. <laughs> Use analog triggers. I'm just doing GameCube games that use system font. Nintendo system fonts. So Rodin NTLG is what was used on the GameCube, the Wii, DSi. 3DS and Wii U. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it does use an internal font, so I'm not really sure why people have run into issues. I mean, I've literally just seen, what, three minutes of the game, so I can't really comment just yet. If I can actually get into a battle or something, it might actually help to really tell me if the game is playable or not. Oh! oh! That reminded me of Beetle from uh, Wind Waker. My eye just keeps darting over to the FPS counter, but still 58, 60. Then again, when people are having issues, you never know if they're using ISO or if they're uh, using compressed. Because just for clarity's sake, every single game I test, where possible, it's compressed. So, for GameCube games, they're all compressed to RVZ, which you can do through Dolphin. Um, for PS2 games, they're all compressed to CHD. For PS1 games, they're all compressed to CHD. Dreamcast, CHD. Um, try and think of other games that are compressed. PSP, they're CSOs. They used to be PVPs, but that gave me more issues than I care to admit, so I just I got rid of it. Can I hit Toad? Ah, I can't whack him. But yeah, if you're able to compress a game to CHD or whatever format, then more often than not, it's a good idea to do so. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Boop, 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 boop.
<laughs> uh, Mario just looks dumbstruck. Like, huh? Ah, oh, there we go, we do get to a fight. Hold left and release when the light's up. Okay. Nice. Our dude just flattened me. Nice. I like how she doesn't. She's not doing anything. She just stood there. I like how you can just play this best solely on sound cues. Nine star points. Nice. Oh dear. Hmm? Oh. Easy enough. Yeah, just leave them to it. <laughs> but, huh? Noise again. Oh! Hey, look who it is in the background. They're looking to lock Mario up again for his crimes in Sunshine. Oh. How's <laughs> that road test, punk? <laughs> ah, what the hell? I was seriously paying attention to what was happening in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit, I'm not entirely sure what issues people have been facing with this game, because from where I'm sitting, and from what I'm seeing, I don't see any issues. At all. Like, I don't think it dipped once. The frame rate's like, I was going to say it's all over the place, but not really. It goes down to 57, and that's it. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. All I can think is the people that were having issues were either using an ISO, or they were upscaling the game. Because I don't upscale. Like, I could when it came to GameCube, but I'd prefer to just see what they run like at base settings. And for the most part, a lot of them look pretty decent anyway. Oh boy. Wait. Aw. I wasn't expecting to be able to hang in there, but you know. Not bad. So yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised, especially when I've been reading up on people having issues with this game in specific, so I was expecting it to be not very good performance-wise, but yep. Blown me away, as. So I'd have to say that Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.